Hello everyone, welcome back to Conan Express. And before we go any further, kindly head over to the channel, hit the subscribe button right here. If you haven't signed in, you should definitely sign in and subscribe. Yes, yes, we need your support to help the channel grow. And as I grow, I also earn the motivation or rather get motivated more and more to keep creating relevant content for you guys. So in the last few videos we've been looking at SQL injection on vulnerable web servers and this is one of the web servers I was talking about. This is the SQL injection vulnerable web server. It's hosted on my virtual machine and I am using the Kali Linux to perform my attacks. So today's video will be more about Armitage, an introduction into Armitage, what it is and how we can escalate now what we've been learning about SQL injection and incorporate all of that into Armitage. So first things first, what is Armitage? If you haven't heard of Metasploit, you should definitely go look that up because Armitage builds on Meta Metasploit framework. It's a visual tool for the Metasploitable framework and it essentially gives you a graphical interface in which you can interact with everything that Metasploit framework has to offer. However, you find that not many people prefer it, not many people recommend it to other enterprise or startup pen testers because it has its downsides. As a graphical tool, it's not that easy to navigate. Unlike what you would expect, you sort of have to compromise on certain things. You cannot essentially ensure that a command runs exactly the way you want it. You cannot add thousands of commands. Well, not thousands, obviously. You cannot add so many commands like you could with the MSF console. But then today's video is not about the MSF console. You can head over to my channel, look up a few videos I've done on the console. And yeah, so no, I don't start that way. Let's do this MS Metasploit. Let me relaunch that. To give you a simple look of what the metasploitable framework is all about. Yes, and now we are in. So once you've started your Metasploitable framework, it looks for certain things. You can see it's asking for what? Access main security grid. And these are some of the features that it will not be able to access because of how I've set up my virtual machine, my Kali virtual machine. I am required to activate so many things, which I think it's all about my own security and ensuring that this box doesn't access my host operating system so first things first you can always type in help in anything and it will always give you a list of commands and always to always provide an example of how to run this if you don't find an example in the help you can always type in man metasploit or msf console, MSF console. And it should give you much much more detailed descriptions because essentially what you've asked for you've asked for the manual to access this framework so for example like i said this is an example of how to use it you can look up q q means quiet you want it to run in quiet mode x you want to execute a certain command and then you can type in your command or allocation like in this case we've set allocation we've set a username which is msf admin password msf admin You've set your R host, you've, you want to run on Metasploitable, and then hit run, and once it's successfully executed, you can exit, and it will always provide an output. So these are some of the things that the MSF console can do in so much more. And now heading back to our Armitage, you see that you have your main menu here, where if you want to add a new connection, you can always go there and it will prompt you to enter an IP address for a system but in this case I'm already logged into my host which is my 127001 you can enter a new target you can check exploitation rankings 
you can view console so much if you want to add a host let's say i had ip addresses for my host you can do that you can check attacks workspaces so much more so first things first i want to scan and i want to find the ip address to my sql injectable virtual machine first things first i check my ip address 15 Now, once I, already, I have my IP address for my target system, I'm thinking it might be 3, not entirely sure, but then we can always check that out. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be 3, so what I'll do is I'll copy that, and heading back into my Armitage, I'll go to host, I'll add host, to make it easier for me, is what I'll do, I'll add both. <laughs> and do later and yeah once your hosts are added they pop up here so what you can do you can go to attacks you find attacks for that specific yes so after that if I come here I can do a quick scan and I'll see all the ports that are open Open. Let me do this one. Port twenty two, port eighty. Yes, this is the machine we're looking for. So let me remove this one on that host and so essentially what I've done these will be maybe two three sets of commands in the MSF console where you have to oh, it's not coming up anyways this will be a set of commands two three different commands where you need to scan for well, the way I've done it you've used net discover to locate your host and now you've added your host and now if this is the host we wish to target it's now possible to find attacks that we can launch at this system uh, i don't know why this is not find attacks copy hunting let me deselect that yes completed scanning so coming back here host and map scans intent scans all these are possible you don't need to go into your terminal and type all these commands in you can just do some ping scans at that IP address and you see it immediately pops up another command window for you sorry and you are able to see all of that going back here say I want to do an intent scan with all TCP ports and my IP address again like I'm saying this is a very very graphical tool and it will be very important for you if you're learning how to do some penetration testing you want to explore systems systems that are obviously under your control this is the tool you need to know how to use and throughout the maybe the next two three videos I'll be showing you all you can do how you can exploit this host how you can add host and how is you need to hack into a system it's always possible to hack into that system as you keep on discovering your talents and you grow as a professional so yeah the scan is complete it's already identified that this is a linux system so in in case i was not sure what to what path to take in my enumeration scans i already know this is a linux going back to your nmap scan that you've done using the visual tool You'll be able to see what ports are open, what services are running on them. Like for this one, you see an Apache HTTP service. Port 22 is a SSH port. It's based on Debian protocol 
and all this is very critical information going forward for any pen tester now what i'll do i'll close this up and launch it again just so you see i've typed in Amitage. depending on whatever operating system you're on it's always easy to get it and i'm assuming that you are all in some penetration testing environment if you're not there are many installation videos on youtube you should definitely check them out any questions hit me up in the description and i'll always answer and respond to your requests Kindly hit that like and subscribe button and I'll be seeing you again next week. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you you know nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hit and not point your fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that.